Welcome to the 22nd week of the End Times Like These recap. Now, let's get into this. Starting with Udell Mitchell, who asks Wanda how long she plans to ignore him. Wanda tells her husband that she'd be willing to speak with him as long as she was 100% certain that their marriage could survive. Since Udell admitted that Elvera was his only soulmate, Wanda wonders if their marriage was built on a lie. Even though Udell tries to convince her otherwise, Wanda isn't convinced. She gets a call from Owen Grant, then Udell demands that she not answer. Wanda doesn't listen to her husband, then walks off. Their daughter Yvette enters the room, telling her father that she heard what they argued about. At Theodosius's palace, Michelle Torres tells her boyfriend, Zeke Franklin, that she's the new owner of the hotel. On top of that, she offers him a job since he's no longer dealing. Zeke gladly accepts the offer, then Nichelle's mother, Isabel, requests time alone with her. When Zeke grants Isabel's wishes, Isabel tells Nichelle that she hopes she doesn't feel pressure to do better than Devante. Nichelle tells her mother that she sees this as a new opportunity to make her own mark in the world. As Zeke is in the hallway of the hotel, it's revealed that he still has a draw to X-rated videos. Vivian Jones visits the gravesite of her late half-sister, Elvera Russo. As she's at the cemetery, Clarice and Lorenzo Russo approach her, asking Vivian why she's there. Since Lorenzo is still unaware that Vivian is his illegitimate daughter, Vivian makes an excuse and tells the couple that she only wanted to pay her respects. When Vivian walks off, Clarice tells her husband that she feels like Vivian is getting too close to their personal affairs. As for Lorenzo, he feels like they have nothing to worry about where Vivian's concerned. After Quinlan speaks on the phone with Ben about their date later that night, Heidi shows up to Quinlan's apartment, informing Quinlan that she knows that she and Ben have reunited. Quinlan goes on to ask if the rest of the family knows. Heidi informs Quinlan that Gianni and the Russos don't know, and they won't know since she wants Quinlan to leave Ben. Standing her ground, Quinlan tells Heidi that she can't tell her to stop seeing Ben. She goes on to tell Heidi that Ben forgave her, just like Gianni seemed to have forgiven Heidi. Heidi also points out that she had to forgive Gianni for his affair with Quinlan, telling Quinlan that if she truly cares for Ben, then she won't put him in a position where he would be hurt all over again. Quinlan tells Heidi that she's not going to hurt Ben, and she'll start by making him the happiest man alive. Heidi warns Quinlan that if she doesn't do as she asks, then she'll regret the day she crossed paths with her family. Entering Lorenzo's office, Vivian tells him that she wants to apologize for overstepping by visiting Elvera's grave. Lorenzo explains that he had no issue with it, but Vivian points out that Clarice certainly did. He tries to appease Vivian by telling her that his wife is just overprotective. Vivian begins to ask Lorenzo if he sees her as a threat, which he doesn't. Quinlan enters Ben's office, explaining that Heidi knows about the two of them and wants Quinlan to leave him. Ben promises to speak with his mother and get her to back off. When Wanda gets back home, she notices Yvette is upset. Yvette goes on to ask Wanda if she'll be leaving the estate again. She admits to her mother that she had been hearing her arguments with Udell. Wanda tells her daughter that she still loves Udell and will do whatever it takes to save her marriage. Yvette goes on to ask if that includes kicking Owen out of her life. Wanda tells Yvette that Owen isn't the source of her issues with Udell. Despite that, Yvette is certain that Owen has something to do with the marital problems. Though Wanda doesn't see Owen as the threat Udell sees him as, Yvette suggests that he might be, wondering if Owen has feelings for Wanda. Wanda tells Yvette that she and Owen are just friends, certain that Owen sees them as just friends. When Owen asks Udell what he's doing in his office, Udell tells him that his presence in Wanda's life is causing harm to Yvette. After Owen asks for an example, Udell informs him that he interrupted an important conversation with Wanda as she answered his call. Owen informs Udell that he only called Wanda to check up on her since Udell told his wife that she's not his soulmate. 
he adds how he had to comfort a crying Wanda at the courthouse. Angered, Udell wonders if Owen loves the idea of being Wanda's go-to person whenever she's in pain. Owen assures Udell that he doesn't take pleasure in seeing Wanda hurt. Udell goes on to correct himself, telling Owen that he takes pleasure whenever Udell does something which upsets Wanda. Owen asks Udell to leave his office, but encourages Udell to figure out what he truly wants before he loses Wanda forever. Owen arrives at Confidence Designs, questioning if their friendship is negatively affecting Yvette. When Wanda admits that it has, he questions if it would be easier if he were to get out of her life. She tells Owen that she would want to remain friends and that Udell will have to accept it. Before Owen leaves, he tells Wanda that Udell doesn't deserve her, encouraging Wanda to know her worth. Alan Russo arrives at his mother Harley Drake's hotel room, asking his mother what she needed to tell him. She reveals to her son that Devante was the one behind the beating he received several months prior. Knowing that his mother knew this and kept it a secret infuriates him, causing Alan storm off. He enters Dr. Terry Murphy's office to find comfort. In Heidi's office, she's pleased to see Ben until he tells his mother not to interfere in his relationship with Quinlan. She tells Ben that she's trying to protect him. He tells his mother that he's a grown man who needs no protection. Ben also warns Heidi that he will be her enemy if she goes after Quinlan, infuriating her. Vanessa Dorval gets another text from the stalker, stating that he'll be closer than she thinks when summer vacation starts. Ulyssa Torres approaches Vanessa, asking why she looks so terrified. She informs her best friend that JJ thinks she's being stalked, but Ulyssa feels like Vanessa should take JJ's concerns seriously. At Global News Press, Quinlan is surprised to see that Pacho Torres is the new CEO of the company. When she asks if he would allow her to have her own news program, Pacho denies her request, feeling like she still needs to work harder to earn that sort of position. Because of this, Quinn Lin is irritated with her new boss. At the Russo estate, Heidi informs Gianni that Ben and Quinn Lin are together. She also informs her husband that she confronted Quinn Lin about it. When Gianni shows concern, Heidi becomes frustrated as she thinks back to her husband's prior affair with the reporter. Gianni assures his wife that she has nothing to be jealous of, asking her to back off of Ben's relationship with Quinlan. When Gianni walks off, Heidi refuses to listen to her husband's request. Lorenzo informs Clarice that Vivian can sense the hostility Clarice has for her. Clarice denies it, but Lorenzo isn't convinced. Eventually, Clarice tells Lorenzo that she's convinced that there's more to Vivian than she's saying. She goes on to state how this reminds her of one point in their marriage. When Lorenzo questions what it was, Clarice decides to walk away from her husband. Terry goes on to ask Alan what's wrong. He tells Terry that he can't rely on either of his parents, wondering if he'll be screwed up like them whenever he has kids. She asks Alan what he's upset with Harley for. Alan informs Terry about his mother hiding the fact that Devante was behind the beating he received. Terry offers her sympathies, then Alan cries in her arms. Alan feels embarrassed by showing his vulnerable side, but Terry tells him that it's nothing to be embarrassed about, explaining to Alan that it feels good to be needed by someone. As the two compliment one another, they find themselves kissing once again. At first, Terry is reluctant to go further, but Alan proceeds to seduce the doctor. Can't get enough of the crazy world of end times like these? Then, treat yourself to a binge watch of end times like these. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. You're not ready for what's to come, but tune in anyway.